Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and today we are doing another unbagging. And today it's a junk jewelry bag. So I got another one of these. Um, and if you haven't seen the previous ones, I will try and link them here. Um, recently I bought eight junk jewelry bags a while ago, and there were so many good pieces in there that when I went into another charity shop, um, they had some more. So I went into break, and for five seventy-five, I got a bag of what they class as craft jewelry. Basically, it's jewelry they can't be bothered to sell individually because it would take too long. So they just lock it together in this bag. I want to say there's at least, I want to say there's at least a kilogram in here. It is quite heavy. Their bags are usually around five to six pounds um, in money, generally. Uh, they don't usually go over that, but uh, let's see what we've got. So what I usually do with these is I'll put them on Facebook Marketplace and sell the bag as a whole. usually charge more for it, um, if I'm honest. Um, but I do have tons of jewellery, and what I do is I lock them up, and then I'll put them on Facebook Marketplace. So this bag was five seventy five. I will probably put it on Facebook Marketplace for a tenner, put some more jewellery in it, mix it up a little, um, and make some money with it. And it's just a way of making a little bit of extra profit. Or if I was going to do a yard sale or a car boot, I'd sell it individually. It all depends on the situation. So let's take a look at the first item. So this is the first item. How cute is that and the best thing is there is no missing stones which is always the worry we're getting junk jewelry that you're gonna get missing stones but look at that baby no missing stones beautiful turquoise um corded necklace look at that so if i took that to a car boot you could sell it for a couple of quid um or i could put it individually on facebook and i'm sure it would sell i don't do ebay anymore because they were just taking too many fees um so I stopped doing eBay. Next one we have is this one. And these are obviously like tiny little shell pieces um, on like a wooden beaded chain. Not the most brilliant, but if you're looking for like something sea-like, um, like beachy and everything, it's kind of cool. Okay, next item. Again, we're going for a kind of shell theme this is in like a coral pink um and then at the bottom you got this kind of i don't know what to call it it makes it look like coral um if you know what coral is it kind of makes it look like coral out at sea like this whole weird kind of thing if you know what i mean but it's pink um i'm sure a little girl or um someone would like it okay next we have this. It's one necklace. <laughs> when I first got this, I was like, that's got to be like a couple of necklaces and a twin. Oh, no, 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 no. This is one necklace. I didn't get it. I don't understand it. It's got so much going on for it. I, I just don't get it. So this is probably the, the, the big piece that um, caught my eye was this piece. Um, everything's just stuck with the damn thing. Um, but um, it's like a tin enamel kind of flower. And then you've got all these other bits attached to it. It's just too, it's just too overkill for me. It's just got too many bells and whistles just hanging on from it it's just overkill i don't know i think someone if they bought it would maybe like take it apart maybe and deconstruct it and stuff but uh it, it's just too much that is a necklace that just doesn't you know interest me next one we just got a very simplistic wooden beaded one nothing really exciting to write home about it is just like wooden beads they sell though things like that do sell the whole bohemian look is very in then you got something more like this which is more my kind of thing 
It's a multi-layered black bead, so you'd wear it like this. It doesn't have to be like a statement piece for me to wear it, but I do like things just that little bit different, um, and this would be more my thing. The next one, we've got another multi-layered. Multi-layered necklaces used to be a big thing. They like exploded on the scene. You'd see all the celebrities with multi-layered necklaces all around them. There's another multi-layered one. Again, they just are too busy for me. So you've got what three three layers there, and obviously um, on there it would it would it would look all right, but it's just a bit much for me. Much. Um, I like my jewelry a bit more simplistic. So here we have um, something completely different. So we have another beaded cord that's kind of black. And then at the bottom, we've got this. Now I'm gonna assume that this is like, I don't know. It's actually the actual thing, but it does look like someone's like student piece or I don't know. It looks very student-y, but I could be wrong. But um different mind you thing with jewelry is it's expressional to the person that's wearing it uh next one we've got a very 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 tacky cord i mean very tacky and then at the bottom we've just got this it's got a little feather ish thing not really sure um a ball and then some hoops very simplistic but if you wear it on like a white t-shirt makes a statement um okay next beads massive heavy beads mind you they're actually quite weighty um yeah that one's actually not that bad you could wear that you know i personally don't wear a lot of jewelry at all it's not really my thing i have eczema and find that i just get annoyed by it um, or irritated, um, or have a reaction. Then you got this one, which is a long one. I mean, you're literally talking wearing it down like the middle of you. Um, but it is pretty coloured, mind you. Uh, you could um, double loop it so it would make it shorter if you then wanted to. But it is a really cool necklace, and the beads are kind of cool. Okay, next on the agenda we have is this very heavy again you know very um dented i don't know if it's meant to be dented or if that's how the stones are worn i think it's probably how it's worn but if you like that distress look in your jewelry which is also a thing distressed jewelry is a thing um look it up Next, we have this one, which is quite cool yet simplistic. So it is just a um, one of these like stretch cords, and then at the bottom you've just got these beads. So this is kind of cool if you just want that little something. Very simplistic, mind you. Very easy to wear. Okay, what do we have next? We have a jumble of necklaces um we have to excuse the fact that they're kind of mixed um we're gonna see what we can do let's see okay here we go another one so here we have another beaded one very simple um kind of autumnal colors really a very simple one Next, we have another bohemian style one. So you've got a corded necklace that leads on to these beads. Just some beads, some discs, nothing really exciting. But if you're into that bohemian thing, um, bohemian is can be very profitable jewellery wise. Okay, next we have something very simplistic. So we've just got a silver chain, normal silver chain, and then just at the bottom. We've just got a slab of stone. Not sure what. Very cool, mind you. 
Then we have a bit of a mess. Ah, that was my leg. Um, we're gonna see whether we can um, untangle some of these, maybe. So I can show you. So here's another one. So we have just a little green, tinkly, tinkly one on a nice chain. Again, I like these kind of ones. They're light, they're simplistic. Um, they do still give you a bit of a statement, especially if you're wearing white. I don't usually wear white, so that will probably be one of my issues. I'm not wearing white. Um, next we have, oh, okay. So this is a multi-corded necklace, but it's not multi-layered. So it's multi-corded, all the different cords together. And then at the bottom, you've got these discs. So again, another big statement piece. So if you're wearing a very simplistic dress, like a black dress, a white dress, you just bang this on the front and pow, it brings the eyes to the dress, especially in colors and styles, uh, depending on the dress. Um, something like this could wake up a white dress um, with a pop of color, it would draw your eye. Um, let's see what else we've got. Okay. So next we have just something simple. Doesn't always have to be fancy. But this one is very simplistic and very simple. So it is literally just a very simple necklace. And it's just cut nothing, basically. It is just a beaded necklace. This would obviously go on a child, probably. I don't know. It, yeah. Um, okay. A couple of items left. Um, they seem a little tangled, mind you. Um, but we're gonna see what we can do. Okay, so the struggle is real, people. Yeah, this this is live camera struggle. Look at this. <laughs> live camera struggle. Um, but um. Yeah, as they say in a uh, show business, um, I'm going to de-string this and I'll be right back. So I've managed to detangle them, so let's start with this one. So this one, again, if you're looking for something that's simple, it's just got four little stones, very simple, on a little chain. Then we have this one, um, if you are named with a J, uh, this will obviously be for you, men or women, um, I'm going to say. Just a J with the beads and the necklace. Then we have probably my favourite necklace of the entire thing. Very simplistic chain and then just at the bottom, it's got what looks like a lotus flower with a little stone in it. And that's probably my favorite item of the entire lot. Next, just another little wooden one. Nothing really exciting, very simplistic. Little stones and little wooden blocks. Okay, then we had another layered one. Just help her work out. Um, another layered one, but I'm gonna assume this is maybe for a child. Um, these are horrible. Whoever invented these are, are terrible people. Uh, these necklaces are so, so horrible. So what it is, is it's a multi-layered one, um, but they always get tangled. They're like the worst thing ever invented. Um, but it's like this, and obviously it makes a necklace, but it's so terrible. They get tangled, they get out of line, and I absolutely hate them. They're the worst thing I've ever bought. Then you get this one. I mean, look at it. Who, who wears these? Um, but apparently, you put it over like this, and it creates like this very scarce thing on there. I think it's bloody horrible. <laughs> so it's like this, multi-layered. You put it on like this. I don't know. They tangle. They, they go out of shape. They're horrible. Who invented them? Seriously, people. They're terrible. And then the last item of the day is probably the one that would catch more people's eyes. And it's this one. 
So you've got the chain up the top here, and then at the bottom we go into these gorgeous stones. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Oh yeah. Statement pieces, mind you. And that was everything in the bag. So this time, nothing awesomely fantastic, I must admit. Nothing really jumps out at me as being great. Uh, this was five seventy five for the bag. Now, if I was to go on Facebook Marketplace and sell the bag, I could probably make a tenner. Um, I'd probably sell it for ten pounds, maybe make five, or I could fill it with more jewelry and sell it off and, and make more. Um, I do like buying these. I think they're fun. Let me know down below uh, what you think of this video. What was your favourite piece? Um, what's your kind of jewellery type? Do you buy statement pieces? Are you simplistic? Are you like me that basically doesn't wear jewellery any at all? I've got no rings, no necklaces on. Um, mainly because of my eczema, I find that they just don't go with my skin. But um, yeah, let me know down below what you thought of this bag. It was five seventy five, and honestly... If I was just to sell some of those items and they're at a pound a piece, I'd make my money back. Let me know down below, what's your jewellery style? Are you simplistic, modern, um, retro, vintage, bohemian? Um, I prefer more gothic style, like chokers, elaborate necklaces. But that's, like, when I'm, like, going to, um, like, proper, if you want to call it, proper things, not just sitting at home. But if you want to like, subscribe, and give us a big thumbs up. If you want to help fund the channel, remember PayPal, a super chat. Try out the super thanks. You never know, you might like it. Or a um, super sticker or anything like that. Everything goes back into my channel. Whether you donate to um, my membership, my PayPal, or um, if you just come to my channel and like and subscribe. Every little helps. And I'll see you soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.